Hello Gorange is on view yet again, back to Millwall for our sale on the 24th of July. We're in the warehouse playing what's in the warehouse. We haven't looked yet, so we're going to sort of discover along with you. First thing that caught your eye, wasn't it, were these yeah. curtains. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? This is like 172. Romo fabric. Romo fabric. If you look up Romo on the uh, interweb, you'll find uh, that they're pretty sort of high end. It's rather uh, a lovely embroidered material, isn't it? Suppliers. Yes, it's like a sort of embroidered cruel Looks work. Looks in wonderful condition. Looks quite raised. Yeah. Very nice condition. All the measurements are on the way. Yes. Two pairs here. Eight foot four and at wide seven foot drop on this pair, but we've got it all on the website. So there we go. Nice. If you're after some jazzy curtains, very nice. Those look very good. Mm. So what else have we got? That's a huge mirror. That is a big mirror. It's it's got a triptych mirror because it's Gosh. got the threefold. Yes. It's probably walnut. Looks to be French. Round about 1890 to 1910. Yeah. And I guess sat on top of a dressing table or similar. Nice sort of slightly oxidised plate gives it a bit of character. Yes. Beveling around the edges, lot seven. Nice. Good. Okay, let's keep these nice things coming. Yes. Um, you see, I quite like these. Um, with the inlay. Yes. yes. So, um, it's got a few bits out, but it's still it's it's still a pretty thing, I think. Yeah, it is. They're always quite popular. Usually bone. Sometimes ivory and yeah. we will have looked and decided. That would look nice in our conservatory with a plant on it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, very nice. Yeah, okay, good. Um, we're seeing some chests of drawers as ever, some painted, some not. Um, coffers, very red sofas, lot 20. Um, yes, they are very red, aren't they? Revolving chairs. Quite nice shape, though. Yes, quite a good shape. Sit yeah. down. Are they, is it comfy? Sit down. Yeah, sit down. Oh, it's a long way down. <laughs> no. I don't want to get out. That's comfortable. Yeah. yeah so we've given it nice, a comfortable test. Yes. Um, which is nice. Um, further on, what else have we got down here? Look, we've got some sort of metal frames for um, pots or the like, along yes. with a nice big, looks like a Middle Eastern um, pot there. Right. Some shields. Don't see those every day. Okay. Lot 67. Is this a sort of pew bench thing? Yeah, that's, that's effectively what we would call a window seat. Ah, okay. Uh, it looks to be Victorian. It's in oak. Um, the barley it's twist pretty... these days not so popular as it used to be, right. but um, still, not a bad little thing, that. Mm. Some African stools here, lot 65. Yep. Uh, a nice planter's chair here. Yes, it might need to. These uh, swing yeah, out not, arms that you, you sort of. You, to sit on that, though. you drape your legs over those. No, don't sit on it yet. The caning needs redoing. Is that something no. that's um, quite a difficult thing to get done? My understanding is it's become quite a lot more expensive these yeah. days. Yes, it used to be relatively inexpensive, and now, like it's many things, quite an art. it's not anymore. Yeah. Uh, lots of things are catching my eye. Let's go down the middle here. Some huge lanterns. Yes, they're quite modern, aren't they? They're big, aren't they? Lot yes. 63. They're not old. They're nice enough quality. Yes. Um, good size. Mm. Uh, further on beyond that, we've got a. We don't. We haven't had one of these for. A, I don't, can't remember the last time we did what? a potter's wheel. Ah. So you don't you pump the uh, you've well, got you've pump got a, action a you've got a foot treadle there and uh, there's there's your wheel so uh, that is lot number 61 goodness me it all comes great? here in the end yes Pretty. um we've got some indian furniture in yeah. the sale sort of painted hardwood lot 59 here quite this rustic, open bookcase nice um color. yeah it's it's a little bit sort of wobbly but um but but you know, tough timbers. That's a strange thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's a lamp, apparently, or it is now, anyway. It's a, it's, it's it's a, a mighty uh, lamp, isn't it? It's a Benzamin lamp, lot 74. I don't see many of those. Oh, look. <laughs> You're laughing. What are you laughing at? <laughs> well, it's kind of his and her seats, isn't it? I guess so, uh, yes. Well, they're a, they're, they're a pair. Yes. Somewhat theatrical. Yes. Um, they are, for, for those that want to know, lot, they are lot 77. Over the back, catching my eye. Look at those, yes. 113. Yeah. Great those pair great, of doors or gates. I wonder or what where have they you. came from. They may have been glazed at one time. Without looking, without looking close up, one can't say for sure. They're certainly not now. They were quite a little bit out of shape, need a bit of work, but they're yep. rather splendid, aren't they? Don't we all? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so carrying on down, here's an unusual coffee table, lot 81, with these uh, sort of carved Italianate underframe and then this, this painted. Reverse uh, painted it's, it's mirrored certainly top. It's unusual. Uh, you don't get Monopoly with it. No. Uh, I see a box of wine over there. That'll be a lucky dip lot. This is fun, isn't it? Look, 84. And there's a photograph of it in action at an oh. Oaks in Derry. How, how funny. Of all places. So uh, there we go. A sort of bronze. That's um, not, not much of a mirror anymore. It's, it's great though. The way it's so aged, it's rather wonderful. Now, yes. Isn't it? So, yeah, that's a nice fun. bench underneath. Lot 84. Yeah, not a bad bench underneath. Yeah, doing doing the job. Lot 85. Yeah. 
Buy your tokens for the next ride. Nice big sign over there, lot one, two, nine. Classic sort of roll top desk here, lot 88. That is big though, it isn't it? says on the uh, American Chairs and Desks, Boston Chair Company. Uh, Great Eastern Street, London, on the label there. Do you see that? It's quite fun. Yes, great fun. Around the escutcheon. Yeah, that's quite fun. Yeah. Um, not overly commercial these days, but uh, another one of these footstools down the bottom. Oh, look, this. It, so this is probably the designer guild. Ah, so more curtains. Round about lot 173 or 174. Those, those are I nice, think these ones they? are designer like a linen. guild. Yeah. So Very I think nice. we've got three pairs of or Gosh, lots of curtains great. in the cell. Yeah. So we'll go and have a look at the smalls. So in the smalls, and this is a cell where some of the unsold lots from the fine cell are being re-offered. So you'll see things like lot 273, a rather striking bronze. Mm. Uh, over here, uh, 291, this uh, red tortoiseshell table casket, a rather splendid doll there, lot 295. So some old friends back again, all at less money this time. Otherwise, what else have we got? Well, Elton John's all the rage at the moment, isn't he? Lot 713. He is, yes. Um, there we go. Finally executed work of Elton. <laughs> um, a sort of modern reproduction study of a golfer. 711. Um, right. Yeah. Mm. Um, otherwise, looks like we've got some Derby porcelain. Lot 261. He's rather nice, isn't he? He once had some more coming from him and a pair. He had a companion. Oh, okay. But uh, 261 there. These are these look like Dalton. This is lot 258. There we are. Dalton Lambeth Carrara is the style or the, the line of design. I love the gold. Isn't that beautiful? Quite fun, aren't that, they? Yeah. Yeah, quite nice. And right. those will I don't be. Think I've seen that before. Those are pre 1900. Right. Or thereabouts. Well, they're in very quite, quite good nice, condition, aren't they? aren't they? They are very good condition, yes. Um, so, elsewhere, we'll look at those. Those have come up in due course. They're not in the cell. Nice little bellamins. Yes, they're nice, aren't they? Um, but so, what else have we got running down here? Well, as always, some Chinese. Also, not 330. Nice dragon vase, that. Look at that. He's a nice bold yeah. fellow, isn't he? Yes. Uh, some mixed lots of porcelain. Some, some, another one of these uh, dinner services. This is uh, Royal Dalton Sonnet pattern um, in that sort of rather classic sort of 1970s shape mm, with this sort of rounded fashion. rectangular bit of old-fashioned sort of coming back perhaps um, a little bit but they're never overly expensive because people don't want the gilding and that sort of thing no. these days uh, that's a Zolnay lamp I would say lot 325 the reason it's got that reservoir is it once had a, an oil lamp fitting that oh, sat inside okay. it. Right. So it's a lamp base. Right. Um, rather nice tip staff here. We had a, quite a nice one we did a few weeks ago. Didn't yes, we, we that, did, that, and it uh, went really well. It did go well. Here's another one. This is George the Fourth, hence the four. Yes. Um, with a nice sort of crown finial to it. Gosh. So uh, that's rather fun. Lot 312. Nice. Very nice. Um, wo some Worcester, mostly looks to be Lock and Co. Worcester, a little mixed lot there. Um, let's go and look they around. They don't look very happy. No, a nice Japanese woodblock print there. I think all the details <laughs> are online. So let's go and look around the other side. Okay. You keep filming. All right, I'll show you what's going on. So, here we go. Slides in. That's fun. These do well. Um, 1841 stoneware it's very shiny. spirit barrel. Yes, that... it's got this shiny glaze to it. So that's original. Yes, that's original. Look, nice lion. Look, yes. that early lion. Mm. We've talked about early lions in the past, how they, they look different as yes. time goes by. Because people didn't actually get to see Get to see them very lion. often. Yeah, so that's nice. Like 337. Uh, Prince Philip here, look, signed photograph, dated oh, 1955. He, handsome, he does, doesn't he? Mm. Uh, 364. Um, very nice. Is that one. Oh, chickens. Chickens, yes, fun. sort of naive-ish yes. of chickens. No doubt from the same collection as the uh, Spirit Flagon, we've got a further mixture of um, stoneware with tin glaze and like, look at those lines. Oh, they're lovely. They're rather sort of dopey looking somehow. Oh, I think they're fun. Um, they are, I didn't say they weren't fun, they're just dopey. This look, that looks knobby, but it's actually... Knobby, did you say? Knobbles. Well, it's well, it is a bit knobbly. knobbly, it's figures. Yes, I know. So there they are, so Bacchus funny. and his lot, satyrs, yes. all having a good time. Apparently, with the grapes running around above. Yeah. So that's the sort of jazzy version of a jug. This is fun. Mm. Sort of creamware type. Uh, impressed mark. I don't think it's quite as old as it um, as some of the other items in the lot, but an interesting pot nonetheless. And then tobacco jars and other things. So nice mixed lot there. Three sixty two. Mm. 
Uh, further on, what have we got here? Tea caddies. Quite a collection. Tea um, that's got the Rockingham mark upon it. Right. There we are, painted up. Uh, then we've got some in the style of sort of Worcester. That's not period Worcester. It's a sort of Samson or similar copy from later on. But yeah, a little mixture of caddies there. Uh, something for the secessionist collectors, lot 346, that's a nice Art Nouveau looking centrepiece, well, is period, mm. almost certainly WMF, little mark will be tucked away somewhere. And what, behind that, sorry. What's nice is the original glass liner, but yes, yeah. and behind it, what do you get? You get a copper casket with a sort of Ruskin stone to the top, yeah. um, cigarette box. Does that have much age to it? Yeah, this will be 1910 or so thereabouts. Right. Often a little bit sort of tinny. Mm. This one has reasonable weight to it. The hinge is slightly bent back, so the lid doesn't quite want to sit no. over the front, but still a nice thing. And that's quite a nice lot. 346, good mixture there. Uh, and then when we're talking about secessionists, we always, yes. you know, no, we go into arts and crafts, and yes. this is classic Liberty Tudric pewter. There's the Tudric mark upon it. There's the okay. model pattern number 0305, which you can look up in the book. It might be Archibald Knox, it might not. Pleasing shape. Lovely shape, lovely yes. cane handle, the quality of that cane work. Yes, that's beautiful. And you know, this is, and, and that's, you know, it's a nice thing, is it's a hot water pot. Oh, is uh, it? Hence the caning. Ah, right. Um, but yeah, nice thing that. That's yes. locked uh, 348. Mm, yeah. I'm sure from the same job as the Spirit Flagon and the uh, oh, yes. other lots. Here's yeah. more, these are pocket flasks now. Often they had things like sort of political, um, so we're looking at reform laws here, Brougham's Cordial, nicely modelled that. Yeah. Nicely stamped up. Bourne's Potteries in Derbyshire. Um, here's another. So, so that would have had a cork, would it? Yeah, you'd have a cork stopper, I right. think. Here's the same, Brougham's Cordial again. True spirit of reform uh, <laughs> impressed on there. Dalton right. and Watts, the manufacturer. So that's before it became Dalton, before it became Royal Dalton. You've got oh, Dalton and Watts. Right. And then there's a novelty one, the sort of mermaid. There's some <laughs> boobies lurking there. She's, she's not a young mermaid. In fact, looks kind of like... Merman. Merman, <laughs> yes. Another one there. Perhaps that's the, 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 the queen. Um, so yeah, good fun lot that, 349. I look at the... Uh... Uh, these are so okay these are called Stephen Graffs. Ah, okay um, they were you can see here uh, woven in pure silk by Thomas Stevens right. Stephen Graff works Coventry they were very popular in their day Victorian era we're talking right. um, because it was a sort of new patent method of this fine color silk um, weaving to yeah. produce various panels um, in the original mounts with so their titles are sewn, are they? no they're machined yes, that's right. the clever thing about ah, them. Okay. Um, like many things, 30, 40 years ago, quite popular. Lots yeah. of people uh, paying reasonable money for them. Book written about them or more. Uh, these days, not particularly sought after at nice. all. Bit of a curio, but that's lot 357 for you. Mm. Um, what else we've got? Let's carry on around. Uh, a mixture of interesting artworks, I think we can safely say. That's a real offer from the fine cellar. That's a real offer from the fine cellar. This is not a real offer from the fine cellar. No. This sort of work of kite flying, mm. unusual. Yep. So I have a... It's quite a lamp, isn't it? That is quite a lamp, isn't it? Yes. So um, it feels like either glass, I think they are. I think it's it's um, sort of marbled glass shades um, with a spelter under mm. frame. Had lots of decoration at one time. Yeah. From the same job as mentioned already, how about lot 405? <laughs> there he is, England expects, there's Nelson. Um, not impressed, but perhaps someone's worked out the manufactory from the shape. Lot 405. Here's an oddity. Yes. Lot 401. What is that? I don't know. It's got a hole it's a at the thing. bottom. It's got a hole at the bottom and a hole at the top. So the maybe top. it's a it's a section of a of a taller piece, but right. it's kind of fun, isn't it? Yes. And perhaps we've said what it is on, on our description, perhaps we haven't. Have a, uh, a bit of tumbage wear, we do tumbage wear, but this is quite a nice looking lot. Lot 413. So we've got the tea caddy with view of a sort of ruined abbey. Yeah. Nice shape. Yes. A little bit faded. We know that because look at the inside, how uh -huh. rich the colour okay. is. Yep. But with it, this is what caught my eye. You get this rather large book slide, oh, and right. look, that's the Pantiles in Tunbridge Wells. Aha! Uh -huh. And um, I guess that's someone's cottage somewhere, maybe right. in Tunbridge Wells. Haven't seen that view before, but nice big size to it, nice chunky yes. one. They're usually smaller than that, so that's been interesting. 
Dick Turpin and Tom King. Yes, Dick Turpin and Tom King. Staffordshire flatback figures. Why are they called flat back? Well, because they've got a flat back. Flat back. Yeah, very good. Um, again, used to be very sought after. It was a little bit of revival in some of these named figures. So we'll keep an eye on those, see how they do. Three yeah. ninety nine. Yeah. More secessionist style pewter wares. Yes. Some clocks, I'm seeing some dolphin figures lurking I've about the place. I've seen these before, I'm yeah, sure. Oh, unfortunately, you have, yes. three ninety five. Yeah. So, Royal Dalton producing a whole host of different figures right. over a period of 100 years. Yeah. Um, the earlier, the better, generally speaking. They have HN numbers, which identify them, and then they sometimes have impressed marks ah, such as that. That's like the that date. So, that's 2nd of the 1st, 1930. Right. Um, and then she's in a sort of slightly more pottery than porcelain feel. So yeah. she's a little bit more unusual than many. Right. There's another one up there. Yes. So so not a huge call for them nowadays. They used to make loads of money. Now right. it's only the real... There's the, the certain ones that make strong money. And right. some, the early ones still do. I mean, nice quality painting on this. Yes. Super painting. Um, this is Aloha Bloomin. Mm. HN1466. Um, again, it's an oldie, but I'm not seeing an impressed date mark. Perhaps it was there and it's kind of right. not quite pushed in enough. Mm. But uh, moderately better, but just not enough collectors for them anymore to, to push the prices so, so too it, far. Is, is that nice? That's a real offer from the fine seller. That's See, Bernard like that. Mims. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was really nice. Yes. Um, I think it went in at three or four hundred. Mm. Didn't sell, so it's back at less money. But yes, we thought that was good at and the then, time. Um, the, those, the, the, the nudes, yeah, yes. absolutely. 652, 651. There's another dolphin figure. She looks like she's uh, ah, yes. come yes. get me Simba a bit, isn't she? Yeah, there the orange seller this time. Yes. Uh, that is lot number 386. Yeah. So, a complete mixture. Uh, I'm seeing some corkscrews, other figures. So I rather small. like him. Isn't he lovely? Yes, he's great, isn't Aww. he? Yeah, so he's hanging in the hall. Oh, he's very cute. Um, to put I'm your sure. keys on yeah. or what have you. Yes. He's spelter or similar. He's, he's, a, he's a soft grey metal rather than a bronze. Oh, I think Some he's of lovely. them are cold painted bronze. He's got little inset eyes. So yeah, he's kind of fun, isn't he? Yes. But you, with him, 423, you get a load of boxes. You've got a candle oh, okay. box. Oh, I right. can prove that it's got candles in <laughs> yes, it. must it be. You get a tea caddy, you get a, another, and then a sort of apothecary's box there right. without any fittings. So a little mixed lot of boxes for yes. your money. Worthing Sailing Club, how about that? In Sailing Instructions and Information, we've got 426, <laughs> uh, but it's not actually got Worthing Sailing Club in it, oh, has it? It's got a mixture Charles of um, of ephemera and uh, Larry Grayson. Oh, wow. What a gay day. What a gay um, day. Yes, so there we go. Another lot of curiosities for you. <laughs> it's all is. here. It's always all here. Um, across the back, I can see pots of pennies and some Cows. more dog and figures. Nice Delft flower bricks. Silk scarves behind the counter, probably Hermes. Some of them certainly I'll have a look, are yeah. Hermes. So really nice lot there. Good sale for you to get your teeth stuck into. Uh, as usual, any queries, send us an email. Even better, come and see us and have a look at it yourselves. Thank you very much.